Uh, Jackson, congratulations. You clearly, it seemed, used your time away to Ohio State's benefit. You, did you feel, uh, you look sharp, running and throwing. How did you feel out there? Uh, before I answer that question, I just want to say I'm proud of Kenny and uh, what he stepped in and led his team when I was out. And uh, I look at him as a big brother, and um, no controversy with that. So. And, and talk about your, your play tonight, stepping back in there after being out for almost three weeks. Uh, well, you know, I, I, um, I've been working really hard these last couple of weeks because I've been hurt in uh, my fundamental wise. And, you know, the, Coach Herman and Coach Meyer, they always talk about fundamentals, and that's what I've been working on. And that's how I get my things going. And I can't get all the glory to myself. i got to give it to the team. Please raise your hand. Tim, right in front. Yeah, Braxton, you got off to a really hot start. Just talk about how, you know, four touchdown passes. And uh, how did you feel out here? I felt pretty good. It was a good, it was a good crowd, man. You know, uh, this always bring bring crowd with the Buckeyes, and just felt pretty good. My leg feel good, um, energy wise, and um, I wasn't out of shape, so <laughs> felt good. But then fourth quarter, what, what what kind of went on there? I mean, you guys, yeah. That first half, you needed a couple times there. What what, what, what kind of was going on there? Uh, we uh, backed off just a little bit in because uh, they was running this type of blitz coverage, and uh, we just wanted to run the ball and just run the clock out. So um, we got off the field. Over in the left, Austin. Braxton, did you feel like you had something to prove tonight? There, it seemed like it became popular for the last couple of weeks to stir up this controversy. Did, did you want to send any message with your own play? Oh, not at, not at all. You know, I just go out there, have fun, and uh, lead my team how it's, how it's supposed to be led, and you know, just have fun, and you know, big plays come along with that. And I don't really look into the media deals with that, so that don't bother me at all. <laughs> Over here on the right, Obi. Braxton, do you feel like this was a uh, how you doing? What's up, man? <laughs> good. What's up, man? <laughs> hey, uh, did you feel like this was a good game, a good icebreaker for the Big Ten? Uh, was this a game that kind of you needed to see kind of where you were, where where the team right. was? I love playing the big games, man. It brings excitement to myself and the team, and that's what we talk about all the time. We love night games, and just like last year, and uh, we just stepped up just a little bit, get different game plan, and. Um, Defense was good. Wisconsin, you know, they was good defense, and uh, we just had a good game plan, so it came out well. Well, and um, everybody fought hard to the end. Right over here on the right. Hey, Braxton, can you talk about the deal right at the end of the first half, almost an interception, and then on the next play, 40-yard touchdown pass? Man, it slipped out of my hand, but you know I can't make excuses because it's all me, and um, it was a bad ball by me. And I told Coach, let's throw it again, and um, I made it up for the next throw. Uh, down here on the left, I think we had a question right here. In front. Yeah, uh, Braxton, s same question, but uh, follow up on that. Um, did you tell him, let's do it again? T t tell us how it went down. Coach, I don't know how I like it. So, you know, I don't really got to say too much, and I just looked to the sideline. He already knows what's going on. So, good game plan. Over here on the right, Jared. Braxton, because of the way you normally play the game, was there any hesitation or, or any concern going in about tucking it, running the football because of what you were coming off of? Uh, not at all. Uh, I worked pretty hard in the tournament. I was in there all day. I felt like I had a had a job without getting paid. <laughs> I was getting there for, I was getting there before the coaches were getting there. So I was taking care of my body. I just felt good. I was conditioned all the time on the underwater treadmill, and uh, I just felt pretty good. Uh, second row in the middle. You, you talked about that last drive before the half, but you just kind of discussed the importance of that drive to kind of they just scored to get back a little bit of the momentum. And then also, that seemed to be the first time you really cut it loose running was on that drive. Was there any hesitation early in the game to kind of test the knee? Yeah, just a little bit in the beginning of the game. And uh, I loosen up. And uh, you know how, how things get tight, then you loosen up after a while. But um, the, the drive before the half, it opened up a lot. And plus, we came out with the ball again. And um, just had to set the tone before we went in the locker room. Over on the left, Doug. Braxton, is the knee 100% at this point, or how close to 100%? Yes, sir, it's, it's good. It's 100%. And I just run a knee brace for precaution and uh, just keep it real tight. So. And what was the process like for you the past couple of weeks of trying to decide, are you going to play, are you not going to play? Did, did right. you think maybe you were going to play last week? What was that like for you personally? Uh, no, we, uh, we head off on that, you know, because, you know, it's it a different type of game, and we want to get prepared for the Big Ten Conference. And uh, I just want to rest my knee for another week. So it would be absolutely 100% so I can give it all my all on the field. In the middle, second row. Braxton, heading into tonight, did you expect to take all the snaps? What's that? Heading into tonight, did you expect to take all the snaps? Uh, you know, it was just the coach's of decision. You know, I worked pretty hard in practice. And, um, you know, me and Kenny, we, we just, like, we got a different relationship. And um, 
you know, it's all in coach's hand. Did they give you a decision before the game in <laughs> that regard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Got time for a couple more uh, far left in the hey, back. Braxton, back here on your left. Pat Brennan, BSB. Um, it looked like Kenny was one of the first guys out to celebrate with yeah. you after your touchdown passes. The first two, I remember specifically. Um, did you expect anything different from Kenny in those moments? And no, not at all. How, did it, how did it feel to have his support in that moment? Like I said, that's like my big brother. Ever since I got here, we had a connection. And uh, we roommate every game. So we talk about things and outside of football. There's not all, all everything outside of football. So we hang out all the time. And, you know, just, just happy to see him, happy for me, you know, just be back on the field and just lead the team. Last question on the, on the right here. Braxton, how do you think the offense looked overall? I mean, it's kind of hard to look at it in the moment, but if you can step outside of the moment and just look at it overall, was it as crisp as you would like it to be? No, we got a lot of little corrections to make, especially in the film room tomorrow. And um, this is, it's just the little things we got to fix from, um, from the game and little deep balls I missed a couple times. And we got it back, so we fought pretty hard. And guys played well, so we can't really tell when you mess up. <laughs> Braxton, thank you. OK, I appreciate it.